Good evening, folks. Welcome to another cracking episode of AK Tap Room. I'm Murdoch tapping in. I'm Josh tapping in. I'm John tapping in. I'm Brett tapping in. Today on the show, we'll be doing a review of Kentucky Owl Straight Rye Whiskey Batch Number Four. Let's introduce our friend real quick. Yeah, it's our buddy John. Yep, it's our buddy John. He's a good friend of all of ours. He's a good friend of all of ours. Glad to have you on the show, brother. Absolutely, he's got a good nose, a good palate. Yeah, he's got a really good good palate. Like, (laughs) that sounds funny. But, <laughs> I'm just, but I'm just but stoked to be testing the final ride today, guys. Yeah, and, it, and, it's a, and I'm interested to see what you get because every time, you know, whenever you drink, what you describe is like what's written on the damn bottle without even yeah. seeing it. You're like, yeah. you know, Which if there's is, yeah. vanilla, like sea salt, you're picking all those notes yeah. out. So I'm always so it should be interesting. See say. Let's well, see how this unfolds, well, folks. We'll, we'll see how it goes, folks. They've been trying to get me drunk all afternoon, so <laughs> I can't guarantee. My accuracy, but I'll certainly try. You just have to ask him three times. We found that out, so he'll do any. He can't say no after the third time. The oh, third time or the third dram? <laughs> yeah. Like Murdoch had said, this is a 10-year rye from Kentucky Owl. It's a 56 ABV, so 112 proof. It's batch number four, like he said, and yep. This is an uncorking day, so this is going to be this fun for all of us. None of us have had this. We've all had the, uh, the confiscated, yep. you know, bourbon. Yep, and yep. we're familiar with that, so, so we're very excited to try this, Ooh. being that their last, uh, their last run at it. Shouldn't have clipped my nose. You know, I, I got to just keep picking at her. Well, I'm surprised you didn't have your uh, yeah. artificial nails on today, like yeah, you I normally do. For this. I'm a classy broad, so <laughs> I know you are. <laughs> You should see him in heels, folks. <laughs> Woo, that ball. was a good pop. That one good, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that's good. So let me pour this up for you guys. All right. Let's get it going. All right. Oh, man. I'm like kind of hesitant in pouring this because it's an It's expen- the last it's an, one. And it's an expensive yeah. rye. For, yeah, folks, you're talking. For as far as rye. So one for Lord Voldemort. You're talking about the $300 range here, give or t- take $20. Alaska, landed in Alaska. Most yeah. places, and um, yeah. unless yeah. you're buying it aftermarket, you'll probably end up spending more. They did a great job with, the, I mean, the look of the bottle yeah. is very indicative of uh, their other bottles that they've done, but obviously this is done in a lighter green mm-hmm. instead of that St. Patrick's Day version that they had released. Not yeah. of the rye, but of the bourbon. Yeah, the bourbon, mm-hmm. I've seen that. That so, was actually pretty cool. It was yeah. pretty cool. Something so. different. Ooh, Absolutely. So, it, they, it's a nice bottle. It's a nice looking bottle. Right on so, the so. top, mint. I like get yeah. spearmint. Yeah, I get yeah. spearmint. Definitely yeah, heavily. Yeah, yeah. That's, uh, that's a spearmint for me, but that's that rye. So a spearmint. Ooh. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Spearmint, like pepper. There was a double mint, rye. Mint, a little floral. This mint, was, That was pepper. like really strong mint. Mm-hmm. We had, yeah, we had a rye not too menthol. long ago. Menthol. It was a double, yeah, menthol. Menthol. Yeah, yeah. yeah that's where you get the menthol, mm-hmm. kind of a floral aroma. Mm-hmm. Yeah, definitely. A rye, like a rye characteristic. Exactly, so. you've got that. Yeah. Right. There's yeah, some, there was some spice delicious. to it. Yeah, yeah you're there's a this. pepper. Definitely some pepper. Yep. Yeah, I usually get like a pepper or an mm-hmm. allspice on rice. Mm-hmm. Uh, and you have a little bit of lemon, a little corn. bit. Yeah, yeah. They're, they have like some orange zest almost. Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. And then I got some a, fruity. And then I've got a sweet undertone. There's always that uh, indicative sweet undertone. Mm-hmm. Well, All right, you guys ready to get into the taste? I'm going to give a little swirl to air it. Cheers. Launch it. Yes, cheers. Cheers you while you're chugging yeah. out. Oh, okay. Oh, we almost got a spit out. <laughs> I don't know if that's a good or bad. I don't know if that's a run out and buy this or mm. we gotta get a bucket on the side. <laughs> we're gonna recatch this and use it for a later episode. <laughs> now, we're, we're doing this in 4K, so we can really capture yeah. Murdoch's expression. Yeah, we're gonna have to do instant replay on yeah, that. Oh, there are many. Yeah, slow so, down that frame So, I mean, yeah. I, I'm kind of picking up, you know, right off the front of the tongue there. I'm definitely getting that mint, some fresh cut grass. I don't get the fresh cut grass, but I do get uh, spearmint, and then I've got the sweet. I'm getting cinnamon a little bit. It, there's a creaminess to it too mm-hmm. on the palate. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I get a strong, that mint's real strong on mine. Yeah. yeah. It, and then it, I do get that rye grass. It changes so. to like hay, not, not yeah, grass, like, but like a hay to me. It's like a hay, like a dry hay. I never tried that. Woo. <laughs> That's, woo. It's dangerous, folks. It's, it's delicious. Mm. Yeah, no, this is delicious. If you're into rye, wow. This is a very top shelf right here. Well, you have uh, you have something that's, rye, that's got, you've got this, for me, like I said, it's a spearmint. Um, it's kind of like that menthol flavor, but you also have that sweet. So it's not driven strictly by 
that minty flavor. You have the mint, you have the sweet that comes right after that. It's got a nice mouth feel. It tends to, it lingers a decent amount, which is pretty good. It, it does have some yeah. good body. And yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. I get a little last. pepper too on that. Oh, exactly. exactly. Yep. Yeah. It's that indicative yeah. rye. Yeah, that rye. That rye that pepper mm -hmm. that tends to, to leave you. But in a, in a good way, if you haven't tried Rise, this is definitely something to go yeah. out and look forward to. It is an expensive one, but as it's going to be harder to come across as it's the last one, you would but, should definitely not pass it up. Yeah, uh, I don't know. I don't know for the price point. It, yeah, 300, 300 bucks, it, well, de it depends on what well, you're comparing it to. Well, it's, it's certainly a different experience, but I'm with Brent. I, I think $300 is a little steep for this one, unless you're trying to avoid a DUI and you need that mint to kind of clear it. <laughs> <laughs> like, is that Trident? Well, there's no. different, <laughs> the, <laughs> right? Yeah. But you gotta, so that there is that, but there's also those uh, those rides or those drinks that you're gonna put in those higher categories yeah. only because this is not gonna be a daily drinker. Yeah, you're spending like, $300 on snake. it. This is it's, like a high west. It's not gonna be something that you're gonna pull every day. It's like this. It's a special occasion, yeah. an uncorking for me. Yeah. So I think for me, I think I, I would purchase this, uh, but. I would be interested to see how it ages. Yeah, yeah air eight, after air breathing. Yeah. yeah, absolutely. You probably uh, get quite a few different notes. Yeah, this isn't something you buy on your way to your buddy's barbecue or something. Exactly. You know I mean? yeah. Special yeah. occasion. Unless you're Elon Musk. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> well. Wow. Elon, you're invited to the next barbecue. <laughs> <laughs> we'll see how that goes. But yeah, <laughs> it's, it's tasty. I just don't know, I don't know. To me, it would be a toss up if I had, if I went to a store that had this and a High West. I have High West though. Yeah. It depends on what you have on your shelves. Like I will say that if you're like one offing for like, you want a, a high. Oh, like, so say you already had, like say you already had like a Midwinters or another High West. Exactly. You'd be like, oh, this is something it, different. Exactly, yeah, then it's different. But I, yeah, absolutely, that's a great way to put it. If you don't, then it's it's kind of different. If you don't already have something that's unique like this in that high dollar range. Yeah, this is and, really tasty. And it's all subjective, folks. It literally is all subjective. And that taste, uh, the finish, I'm getting a big, that's where I'm picking up that pepper. But the, yeah, it's about the, really the, spicy. The, yeah, yeah, the, the, finish, the yeah. finish is very nice. That rye is pleasant. Like nope. I said before on rye, like, I've, only, I've never really messed with rye. I've always just, it's like either bourbon, mm -hmm. whiskey, or scotch, you know, and then when I started getting into rye, it's, mm. It's very good. It's completely different. So, so yeah, High West it. had that uh, that three blend of rye. I can't remember what the name of it is. This is what that reminds me of. It well, wasn't yeah, that double rye. It that was, was uh, extremely spearminty. Yeah. So it's kind of it's a different version. I mean, it has that spearmint. This has a sweeter undertone yeah. to it yeah, for it's sure. Not near Which as one do you like one. better? I think. Um, so High West has a rendezvous that I absolutely yeah. love. It's very comparable to Ben Winter's uh, Night's Dram. However, like I said, this has a sweet undertone. I really like kind that they've like married the rye. Uh, they've married yeah. the rye with that sweet flavor to where the rye is not being so much of a sure. of a, a hot point. Yeah, to where I think it's well, an off putter for like, people. But like Ben Winter's Dram, in the name, like it's a yeah. perfect winter. Yeah. A winter drink. It's got spice. And it does. It, well, it, warms, has it warms those, you up. It does. It has yeah. all those good flavors. But overall, I enjoy this drink. I'm enjoying having it. I like the nose of it. I think it's a, a full body drink. Well, if you guys had, if you had to rate this, so if you were gonna rate it, Ooh. how would you want to rate? Would you want to rate it like a rye versus rye? Would you throw it into like a higher bourbon? I don't, higher bourbon. I don't, I don't know that I would say rye versus rye just because it's higher a one off. Bourbon. It is a one off. It well, is a one off. So I, I would, this one is very unique. I mean, this is. You know, you, you, you all mentioned the midnight drum and how it really works out for a, a winter's evening. This one here, if you're going to say the Kentucky Derby and you don't feel like adulterating <laughs> your your nice rye or your bourbon with um, all the fixings, this one here with the mint, it stands alone. And that right there, maybe I'm just speaking from the end of the Alaska winter, but this would be a nice summer drink in that it does have that kind of refreshing burst of mint little citrus and it carry it carries kind of there's zest uh, there's it that. is it is very unique it wouldn't be my first pick but you wouldn't be unhappy i wouldn't be unhappy it's with so it. i mean it, this this you. is this here is it's its own mona lisa and uh, cheers to you folks at kentucky owl yeah yeah right. i think they did a good job with this one so i'm sad to see it go but yeah uh, so john when we do our ratings, we do a simple one to 10, uh, 10 being I, best. I've, I've seen that. Okay, so, yeah. Yeah. so, right. so we'll start it with that side of the table. All right. We're always having rock star first. I don't know why. <laughs> we're we're gonna kick we it off. So we can start it on a different side. Let's All right, on. I'm gonna go with the uh, eight five. Eight five. Okay. Nice. 
I actually it's like. Not bad. I actually considering like considering the price. Yeah. yeah. I actually like the 8.5 uh, point. I don't want to give it a higher point just because. But I do like that it's very unique. So I'm going to go with a, an 8.5 and stay yeah, there. I'm not going to one up, fairly. and I'm not going to go uh, less. So. You know that's uh, that's a hard one to consider because this is its own. It, it does stand alone. This is its own platform. It really, its own very unique profile. Yes, sir. 8.5. Oh, right. Yeah. Why break the mold? Yeah, right. I mean, it could easily be higher in my book, mm -hmm. but the price point is what drives it down. Understandable. You know, it's a high price point. Yeah. And I mean, if you're buying one of these balls, most likely you can't buy one of these shirts. So, <laughs> <you know. laughs> so I'll give it an 8.5 as well. You know, and it, 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 that's not even a, I don't even consider that bad at all. Oh, it's not. It's, they've done um, a know, great job. Actually. Like, I would be like, if somebody oh, gave that to me, yeah, I would be, be like pumped. so excited. Be, yeah, be, uh, my birthday yeah. is July seventh. If somebody yeah. gave that to me, I would be send it to my address. Yeah. <laughs> put that in the comments. I'll I'll make sure he gets it. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. All right, folks. Murdoch. Yeah, Murdoch this is dinosaur. curious. I want to explore batch one and batch three. Yeah, if we ever Just get an to, opportunity, you know, yeah. maybe one day well, we could do a they're harder they're harder to comparison find. if we can find it. You know, it's it's scarcity which drives it. Yep. Exactly. So, with that being said, let's go ahead and. Go ahead, Murdoch. So, folks, thank you for watching our review. Like I always say, don't drink and drive. Quality over quantity. On the square. Yes, sir. <laughs> <laughs> that, threw me, that threw me off. My <laughs> friend tapping out. All right. With uh, Josh tapping out, and with that said, Murdoch tapping out. And with that said, folks, like, subscribe, hit that follow button, tell your friends, tell us what you like, tell us what you don't like. Cheers, folks. Thank you very much. That's right.